Okay, so what is going on guys? It is Domino and today for you guys I'm going to bring, bring you guys a different kind of video as you guys can see right in front of you. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my custom class slots on my league play account. Now as you guys can see at the moment I'm currently master rank 4 trying to get that top spot but as you guys can see this guy is top Gemini. Look at this, 15,000 points. This guy does not sleep. Don't know who he is but he is beast. Um, I'm not too far away from second and third, about 2,000. As you guys can see, fifth is catching me up like a bitch. Um, and I'm going to be trying to get number one eventually. So, today I thought I'd show you guys my custom class slots. And, you know, just let you guys see what I use consistently. And maybe you guys can try them out, try the classes out. Or maybe you can give me some recommendations to make them that bit better. But obviously, this is uh, only for league play. So, if you guys want to see my public match um, classes on my other account, my main account, then you guys just got to let me know. Um, but let's get started. So as you guys can see, uh, my first class is a Search and Destroy class. It's an MAA-1, which is a gun I absolutely love. I think it's an amazing very, amazing gun, very versatile. You can get one burst close range, long range, whatever it is. But the only problem with this gun is it's very, very connection based. So you guys might want to be wary of that, which is why I have an AN-94 class just down there. I will get to that a little bit later on. So um, obviously, when I run uh, a gun which is quite good at long range but as I said it is good at close range I like to have my B23Rs as my secondary and because this is a search and destroy class I have dead silence of course lightweight is on every single one of my classes and I think toughness is as well as it should be um, I also like to use the trophy system which means I don't need to worry too much about flak jacket now trophy system is great in search and destroy because you've always got people who know nade spots and nade spots means free free points pretty much the amount of times where I've been really close to a hellstorm and my trophy system has got me over the line to the hellstorm um, it's happened to me so many times so it's a very very good class um, you guys should definitely rock this in search and destroy um, going to my second class now this is more of an objective based class as you guys can tell it's an SMG class now I haven't decided on the best SMG in the game yet it is definitely between this gun the PDW 57 and the MSMC um, it's up to you I guess to try it out but since the patch um, I've started using the MP7 a little bit more, still trying to find the best attachments, not sure if it's long barrel and grip, so ultimately this class is not really finished yet, maybe you guys can give me some tips on this class, um, lightweight of course, toughness, you guys seen that before, um, smoke grenade is great for pulling flags, great for camp, um, getting the objective on hardpoint, and uh, obviously a grenade is always good, I, I don't like the Semtex, purely because I like to kind of time my grenades, so I kind of you can trust them a little bit more you know where you're throwing them and when they're going to explode and that's just why I prefer the regular frag grenade so moving swiftly on to number three this is my regular M8 class for you know just for capture the flag playing defense and stuff chose to use flat jacket because when you're playing defense on capture the flag or when you're anchoring spawn on hardpoint which you guys should know about you make you want to make sure you're not getting grenaded and all that kind of thing um, sometimes I like to put my trophy system on but I just love having those dual wield B23Rs as backup um, they're such a great backup gun it's unreal you should guys definitely put them on your classes when you're playing league play um, class number four is very very similar to the M8 and you guys can see that these are obviously not search and destroy classes because I don't have dead silence but you can easily swap them being as though you only get five custom class slots in league play which does kind of suck um, but this class is pretty much the same thing but I think the N94 is a better gun but I think on a good connection let's say if you're playing um, on uh, your host from your country which is often the case then the M8 is very very good but sometimes you get in those lobbies where you're playing against French people which does happen to me quite a lot or maybe you're playing people from different countries to wherever you live then you definitely want to be using the AN94 purely because it seems to just do so well on any kind of connection and I always do good with this class this is probably my favorite class my most consistent class and as I said want to play search make sure you swap out to the dead silence of course um, but all in all it's a great class um, now this is a great class as well this is probably one of my favorite classes because it is a mixture of precision um, gun you know fire rate laying down suppressive fire and it's why I love it now I like to swap this gun for a LMG sometimes very occasionally I like to use the thermal MK48 which is at the start it's a very very good uh, light machine gun um, but the A94 is just a little bit more consistent a little bit more versatile and of course you guys can see me using lightweight this is also my search and destroy class um, purely because the DSR thermal scope gives you that gives you that vision to pick out the decent players who are often moving about very very quickly and it allows you to take precise shots on you know head glitches and stuff uh, such as laundry on raid and there's a lot of head glitches on raid you guys know people like to head glitch around the ring they go on top of the ring um, and it's so good at just picking enemies off like that and of course trophy system again 
I am never without it. Sometimes I like to swap it for the sensor grenade, which is uh, something I do fairly often if my team is going to be running trophies for me. Um, but obviously you need to be communicating with your team for that to happen. Um, but they're my five classes, guys. So hopefully you guys can uh, replicate them if you guys wish. Um, you can even leave me a comment as to how I can improve some of these classes. Um, MP7, I'm still not sure on this class, as I said to you guys. Maybe you want to rock the MSMC. Um, with the MSMC, I like to run this setup. But you guys may disagree. Um,